Jumander, and Andachu. And we're back with more Ultima, I guess. I don't entirely remember. Sorry about the abrupt ending. Shit happens. Oh, so we're going we're going back to uh Castle Britain. Mm, mm. You can go see your buddy Lord British again. Actually no, uh I I have something in mind. <laughs> so I was curious. <laughs> fucking music. Oh yeah. Here. Hope you like that song. So <laughs> do you know what I'm doing? Ugh. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is not the worst of this that we have to endure, by far. So yeah, because of the way <laughs> physics objects work out, I'll put the quote in the thread, but apparently they <sighs> try to fall until they stop and give up. Was it even worth that? No, it had a health potion and three ingredients that we... They're actually some of the most common ingredients, and we don't even need ingredients. So I'm just making sure to grab the health potions back. <laughs> wow. So yeah, that's how you kind of cheat without cheating. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Sinister <laughs> That's actually supposed to be triggered, like, the first time you walk out. Doesn't happen, for some reason, until I come back. There's a button on the fountain, I, I, I don't know. I think it turns it on and off. What brings you <laughs> really to the house? Well, yes, yeah, so I'm a friend. Lord British sent me here to collect some arms. Wait a minute. This is why we went and got that money. Yes, Lord British sent word that you were to be treated with all courtesies and that you are welcome to what say. I don't want to speak out of turn, you being the avatar, <laughs> but would you like a few tips on fighting and training? You know, just to sharpen your skills. Yeah, I'd like yeah, to hear Yeah, obviously some this guy. Right, Would you like to hear about training, weapons, or... Tell me about training. It's very important that you seek out you as many as you can. Click through all of these. Various training uh, yeah, because there's some journal entry that gets activated, and one time when I played through, <laughs> through this, it glitched out, and I couldn't buy the top tier armor in the game because I didn't have this conversation, and this conversation becomes unavailable at some point. Jesus fucking Christ. I'd like for you to <laughs> so I'm super paranoid about this guy for some reason. But it's limited. Also, if you notice, he is ma the face. Sure. <laughs> okay, whatever. Nobody hears about his face. Uh, you have to pay him 300 gold, even though well Lord done. British specifically no told him to show you all courtesy. But I've got to get back to my job. Oh uh, well, it was it was good working with you, but uh, thanks for the 300. The weapons house. Sexy. And now he just pretends like he I'm doesn't the Avatar, remember. So you are. Lord British. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's completely forgotten All right, who we are. Well. You know, that must have been one There's hell a of a variety of this is it. courtesy. Everything yeah, this, from leather this is to it. Plate. The leather armor is probably the weakest. From the nope, it's the Avatar's the armor. And then of course, That's the weakest. A full harness of plate is the best uh, protection that you can get. Unless you find some magic stuff, but it's expensive. Some magic stuff? What kind yeah, of magic some stuff magic stuff? Fucking seriously? Some armor yeah, that's yeah. magically enhanced. I've also heard of a fellow down in China <sighs> that can make armor out of black rock. That's, that's it. true. It's the black rock even thing. better than plate. I want to hear about for whatever weapons. reason well, I didn't ask him about that, there. and it so wouldn't let like me ask weapons. the guy intrinsic about like black rock armor. Others prefer ranged weapons. It you sucks. Know, long bows and war bows. Personally, I like swords. There are a variety of sword mm, types mm, out mm, there, mm, but I prefer mm, the plain old bronze. He likes sword. the sword. I also advise that you pick up a bow of some sort. You might start with a novice bow or a long bow. Sometimes your enemy Except you can't get the longbow right away. Well, well, I mean, you can. I've got to go. Actually, Goodbye. I All wait right, then. to Goodbye. get the longbow because there's no reason to get it because you shouldn't be attacking enemies with. So yeah, that's the new attack. You do an overhead swing instead of a kind of limp-wristed stab. Giant sword in a display case. <laughs> right here, I'm trying to get it. It doesn't work. I could have sworn you could, like, get this by glitching the camera through the glass, and, uh... It's just not working. Whatever. 
And yeah, there's a secret room here. I'll show that off later. I don't care anymore. Spike Club. I just wanted to show. There's a ton of weapons in this game, but maybe 10% are worth ever equipping for any reason. The entire line of uh, staff weapons completely worthless. So here I was going to go back up to the guest room to dump all this shit off, but nah, let's just dump it here. I don't need any of these potions. I'm going to the uh, first dungeon, by the way. I I, uh, I kept the armor because I'm just going to sell it. Uh, I don't know why I keep so much stuff, since it doesn't even sell for much. <laughs> and there's way better ways to get money in the game. <sighs> same dude, same voice acting. Also, I'm showing off, you can run sideways, and it feels to me like you run faster when you're running sideways. So I do it a lot, <laughs> even if it looks really annoying, so suck it up. Damn, dude, already on your second one. Yeah, that's the only way I'm getting through this shit. You know we are gonna do another video after this. Well, that's what they make more beer for. Oh, here we go. There's the mayor. For some reason, the, like, dialogue that's not dialogue between you and somebody is really quiet. But you can read it. Was he just talking about some kind of socialism? Greetings, my kind good of? fellow. Ah, wait a moment. You are the Avatar, aren't you? Yes, yes. you are Who else the Avatar. I I've seen your face on the tapestry. Welcome to... Yeah, he's talking about Avatar. the tapestry from that museum I that I barely looked at. Mayor, <laughs> tell me, how do you like our he looks kind of like a monk. now that we've gotten rid of the poor wretches who used he's to... He's got the giant students. heart, like, on his chest. Just like we've poor got wretches. honk on our chest. What do you mean? Why, the weak and the sick and the others that were filling up the streets. We had no choice but to get rid of them. So yeah, they basically did this in our town just recently. They outlawed uh, panhandling. There's a, like, $300 fine for if you get caught pan panhandling to get rid of all the homeless people. <laughs> you know, they can go to Bartlett House or whatever. You know. Well, not really. <laughs> Does Lord British condone this behavior? Well, they'd have to put up with oh, the likes of Krista. <laughs> <from the castle laughs> She's got big tits. High regard She's got big tits, and also the... <laughs> did did, did she tell you the story about the AIDS girl? Yes. That's <laughs> fucking disgusting. <laughs> like, well, smear man. shit all over the place. Your help? <laughs> well, of course, Avatar. What may Not I that any of you care about any no. of this, but... It's more interesting dialogue <laughs> than what's actually Only going they on. Sprung from the ground yeah. some time ago. Here we go. More vague information about the columns. Them. Although he actually he seems to know them. more about them than Lord British. Well, let's yeah. see. We have all kinds of merchants here in Britain. Uh, we have an outfitter, a blacksmith, <laughs> and uh, well, um, all manner. See, look, he, his mouth actually moves, his eyebrow twitches uncontrollably. What's going on there with his like lower costume operation? Like, there's a weird crevice in his leg. Well, Aiden. Uh, it's cut high, like to show up by. You are always welcome in the <laughs> show a little leg. The Avatar. That's right. Now. I so basically, the mayor's a dick now, and uh, sends poor and crippled and sick people off to Welcome. a ghetto. My name is Cameron, and as you can see, I buy and sell gems and other jewelry. Also, this guy does his whole introduction every time you go see him, and he's the, the merchant you have to go see the most, because all you get are gems I have some gems to sell. That you may be they're, the in. they're the only things worth selling in this game. Anything Not that one. I can do for you. That one was crap. Nothing today, friend. Farewell. Farewell then. So he always goes into his intro, and also here's a cut emerald sitting on his table. You mean hey, that, wait, that's wait, what wait. marked as stealing? I no, 
This isn't as advanced as Game of the Year of Oblivion. <laughs> the Elder Scrolls IV. Uh oh, but he saw you, so you gotta go find a fence to sell it to. No, no, he doesn't even. After care. you do the Thieves Guild quest you, line. You can kind of get. I'm trying to get the camera to go through the glass here so that I can take his other gems, because they are actual objects, and if you, like, no clip through display cases in this game, you can jack shit. And it's. Yeah. But I couldn't get the camera to go through it. Yeah, drink his wine because I was a little hurt. Yet, yeah, eating anything, drinking anything, basically, uh, gives you help. Robbing him straight up. Yeah, that's the thing, is that there's like a karma system, and being mean to people will lower the amount of magic you have, and being nice to people will increase it, but there's literally no problem with stealing. And the, the choices that you make for increasing or decreasing karma are pretty arbitrary. Like, like looking at a painting. Well, yeah. That was a mirror, but yeah. Also, I tried to read that sign, but I just pushed it from, from like five feet away without touching it. Here's the only, the only other mildly interesting place. I would talk to that guy, but he doesn't have anything interesting to say. I just took their sword. Here's here's a piece of shit. Uh, you have to wait for the scorekeeper to put their book down. Oh wait, listen to her voice acting. Show me your wares. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, she's kind of dumpy. I don't know if I want her to show me her wares or Show not. me your wares. She's got Jack and all Thank you. shit. Will there be anything else? Wait, wait, wait. I would like to sell some items. Uh, I thought that was more of a come on too, but yeah, we're just selling everything at this point. Thank you. It's not even Will worth that much. Nothing today, good it's lady. It's really miserable me, crap. Peter, should your adventures take you into the dungeon of despise, could you keep an eye out for any valuable equipment that might be lying about? Yeah, so this is a for a side quest to a who went to that and they pretty much force down your throat anyway. Like, you almost have to do the side quest to get through the dungeon. Okay, so yeah, she picks up her book again. Almost every storekeeper has like a book, and if you talk to them, Welcome. you have to wait for them to put it down. I would... I've gotten them stuck so that they never put down their book. They just stand there and ignore you, and you can't move because it's trying to initiate dialogue. So can you like no clip and grab that suit of armor? Probably. I don't know. Um. At this point, I haven't turned on cheats because I want to show off as much of the game, like, the ways that you have to do things without cheating. I am totally going to be cheating later. Like, it'll, I'm putting my sanity into my own hands by doing that because cheating makes the game even more unstable. Unstable. <laughs> but, uh... Battle music? No idea. Really awkward battle music? I think that's just our headsets going up. <laughs> Hang on, I think I fixed it. Oh yeah, here we go. This is weird. Behind the museum, there's all all this trash. What's going on here? <laughs> like, I don't know. Oh yeah, also the fire sword. Uh, oh, I don't so show it up. I just set that fire. Oh, look. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, Avatar, is that you? Oh boy, oh boy! Avatar, my name is Avidius, and I'm your biggest fan. You're so, so wonderful, and and I've followed your career, and say, you're not going to tell anyone I'm here, are you? You, you, you can't. You just can't. I've wandered down here, and, and, and they'll kick me out of town. Oh, please, keep my secret. Please, please, please! Goodbye, Avatar. Goodbye. Oh, I really consider killing him. Also, if you notice, there there was like this awkward jump in that dialogue where it seems like you sh they they wanted you to be able to say something, but also I forgot to screen this. They wanted you to be able to say something, but they took that out. 
because I guess people would never take a dialogue option that wouldn't be get the hell away from me. Well, because, you know, queer. Oh, here we go, here we go. I, I think I uh, showed. Nope. Keep <laughs> moving. Disperse. I'm the fucking avatar, you asshole. I'm also one person. So yeah, here's some stuff you can take. I'm gonna load up on food and whatever. You can take an axe and like a staff, but there's no real reason because they're all worse than what we have. Like 30 seconds out of the castle. I mean, there's a huge variety of weapons. There's just no reason to yet ever use them. Like, they say some of them are better for other things, but with a few exceptions, that's not at all true. There's this chick wandering Avatar. back and forth. I am Sarah, the keeper of the shrine. What's left of it, at least. Surely you have been sent here to put things right. More what do you vague, mean, put things vague right? information. Oh, Avatar, surely you have seen how Britain has been corrupted. What was no, was not really. Yeah, well, the, the mayor's a dick, and he's exporting uh, cripples. All over Britain. Well, there's a the market for that, you know. Supply and demand. Have been perverted. How have yeah, the virtues perverted. been perverted? Throughout Britannia, the cities that once championed the various virtues now practice acts that are common. I think I mostly <laughs> kept this dialogue in so that I could clip the dialogue practice these horrible so that I could make just the virtues that they once upheld. files that are her saying really perverted stuff because it's all really suggestive. Much like her skirt. Why is Britain so lacking in compassion? Her what? Sure She's wearing a skirt, see? Look, look how it clips through the middle. The city oh. lost its virtue when the shrine became just corrupted. These are pretty shoe pants. <laughs> They really did not know how to model dresses or... Well, it's not like any of them had seen a woman. Yeah. I'm not sure Richard Gary was really thinking too much about it. What, what was the game where they did all the motion... Uh, the motion uh, detecting stuff for the models? Oh, I use it. All, all the females were actually done by dudes doing really exaggerated chick walks. Like, drag hops and shit. I can't even remember, but I know what you're talking about. What is a sigil? <laughs> a sigil is the embodiment of a virtue. What is a sigil? Like, what, what the fuck, Avatar? Corresponding sigil. The sigil of compassion was kept... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dealt with this stuff before. Just I mean, this is obviously dialogue for the uninformed player. Oh, oh this, this is weird. Like... To cleanse the shrine. When you ask about the sigil... I'm not uh, sure. She just fucking told you! I'm certain that meditating at the shrine is part of the solution. But I also know that there is more. Uh, you should go and consult the shrine. Perhaps it will tell you, the champion of virtues, yeah. what it could not tell me. So this is a mechanic where so all the shrines the shrine? oh, indeed. have a man the shrine have a mantra. To you that will help you oh indeed. Just and you have to talk the to them. Mantra for the shrine is moon. Why is she you fucking scratching her head? Meditation. And it will oh, them. indeed. They just do idle stuff. Like, they whistle. Okay, uh, I Sarah. think this... The patch that I have by this point to to shrine, uh, has taken out excessive avatar whistling, <laughs> which was apparently really annoying. I mean, I've had it happen, but... Oh, Why is so there that, a giant rat running around? <laughs> it's attacking a pirate, actually. <laughs> and there's another pirate in there. Is that a horse hanging? Yeah. Also, the reason I'm not finding the pirates in this area is because they... It's not worth it? It's not worth it, and for some reason, just... Uh, what is this nebulous ball following you around? This is really weird, like... I never really understood this, but you follow it, it does all these things. And then it goes here, and turns into a, a spider. Like, just a regular spider. Also, I, I definitely wanted to go get the hammer shot because it makes hitting things low on the ground really easy. And right here, cut diamond. So I guess that thing was actually pretty helpful because it led us here. And some silk. The cut diamonds were a ton of fucking money. What's a cut? What's the spider doing with a? Never mind. I'm not even gonna. It, ask. It's just a cave. I I don't know what the deal was with it spawning from that magical orb. Anyway, the reason I'm not fighting the pirates and shit around here is because 
just for absolutely no reason, some of the enemies in this area are way out scaled for you. Like, you can't kill them with the amount of damage that you do. I might show that off, but they'll just completely stomp you for no reason. Like, it doesn't... There are other pirates that look exactly the same that die in two hits. You mean I'm it's not like Game of the Year Oblivion? Oh. I'm oh, glad Jesus to see Christ. That you have to <laughs> this is I a funny conversation. Help to do the same. Shamino, where are you? <laughs> where are you? <laughs> Richard Garriott, where is your self insertion? It's his DD character, dude. <laughs> This is the most Seeing bullshit. You in this manner is very draining. So I'll be, so I'll be brief. A great Speaking to you in this manner is very draining. So I was just effectively a, a William Shatner kind of dialogue. You're probably aware of the columns. Why is Shamino probably aware of the columns? Why does Shamino know more about the columns than anyone else? He doesn't at all. <laughs> Oh, a magical force of great power. That's that's a great hypothesis. There are eight columns. They have turned compassion into hatred. There we go. Justice into injustice, and so on. No, it's apparently so draining you can't go into more detail about that. By the columns' influence, it's not their fault. It's not their fault at the top. They're still good people. They just need our help to restore their ways. I must leave now, my friend. The tether that binds me to this world grows threadbare. There is more that I need <laughs> to Wait, wait, wait. But it must wait. Shamino, wait! I need to ask you some questions. <laughs> we'll talk again. No! Farewell. Well, maybe if you, like, wrote something down that you wanted to... Important points that you wanted to make. You, you, you'd have more time to talk to the Avatar. Anyway, yeah, that's our first encounter with Shamino. One of Richard Garrett's self-insertions. Not really... Technically yeah. his d, &D character, you're right. Yeah. Oh, and there's a bat and a leather helmet that looks really goofy, but... All the rest of this is garbage. Sulfur ash is also garbage. I don't need it. The, the bat, bat was really well rendered. Well, the bats are weird because the listed in the manual is being really dangerous, but I've been at, like actually hit by them. <laughs> like, <once. laughs> Did you see the lightning light up the objects? Oh, yeah, it, it's it looks really awful. Ah, son of. Oh, who unlocks my Africa. mystery? Out of a very suggestive looking object. The growth of the Guardian's What's suggestive about this? It's a V with grinds all over it. That yeah, clearly is magic. Inside each dungeon is a glyph of corruption. I, I don't want to know what pussies you've been looking at have vines growing all over them. <laughs> Ginger. Yeah. Well, that explains the giant spider, so. <laughs> Oh no! No! <laughs> so yeah, it's telling us what we need to fix it. And if I had gone longer with the, uh... If I'd gone longer with the museum, we'd find where the runes of the virtues had been stolen. And they've been transformed Wait, the unknotting of corruption? Whatever. <laughs> Uh, that's how Samus added you. I, I'm not even going to respond to that. There's coins over here. I try and throw one in, I think. But it doesn't do anything. There's also a health potion here for some reason. And up here is a shrine of, or a circle of binding. Magical binding. And uh, the ingredients and scroll for the light spell, which is the first spell we'll be getting, obviously, because it's right next to the shrine. You'll see in about, like, 90 fucking videos the way this is going. But, uh, yeah, every time you go by a near... 
uh, or go near a damaged shrine, it starts storming, and it's really annoying because it's so dark. But uh, it just told us that the two things we need are the rune, which has been transformed by the tower, by the pillars, into a glyph of the twisted virtue, whatever, and uh, the sigil, which is the embodiment of that virtue. And nobody seems to know where it is, even though, and I'm going to tell you right now, the mayor has it and says that it's his... Like, he talks about it all the time. So, I guess nobody listens to the mayor. You just say the pig? Yep. I'm Why sure. is the rat, like, no, 15 times I, bigger than the than the pig or the sheep? I didn't get there in time. And it poisoned me. I really hate this effect. Luckily, it didn't last long. Oh, so here's a, here's a nice little farmhouse. There's a guy over there, but I want to go in the house first because... He's got a chick. It's, so it's not his. To see you. Oh, I wish look that at that. Oh, there. God, look at her tits. Those are disgusting. Well with you. Yeah. Britain She's got real muscular change. boobs. They're sending it's not really muscle, it's just kind of yes, like... But it's all for the best dirt, <laughs> I guess. Can you tell I don't me really know about what's the going on. I'm afraid that I don't know much about Oh, them. why do I keep I asking him? <laughs> I do think that they're evil, so this is Sarah Palin? I think that, that, that they're really evil. What's it like? Well, God damn. I haven't been down oh, I asked her what it's like in the dungeon, and she's like, oh, I haven't been down there in a while. Why would you ever be down in the dungeon? Well, she was down there, you know, doing some conjugal visits. You'll run into a few it giant is kind of a and prison whatnot, now. but I certainly don't think that you'll find any you, demons down there. Yeah, yeah, maybe some yeah. giant spiders. Yeah, nah, I just don't think you'll find any demons. Oh, there. you know those well, those well, things that I die know. in one hit. I can't wait to go to despise. Let me steal oh, some wait, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, she's got black potion. What is she gonna use? Well, that for her. she might want to go back to the dungeon. There was this really hot dude, and yeah, her husband Yolo, ah, who's like Avatar. ninety. On your way oh, to the God. dungeon of despise. Jesus Christ! How look did at you know face. I was going to despise? Well, it's <laughs> just down the road a bit, and you, being the Avatar, it just made sense that you'd be doing a bit of adventuring. Did I ever ask him if he knew how I was the Avatar? No, you've never sure asked anyone how. Oh no, I have. I have. Oh, oh did I miss that? Yeah. Well, they didn't see your tapestry. Always a good idea. You're likely to run Shut the fuck up about the bow. Well, no, she just told me I just run into spiders. I go and meditate at the shrine for peace and wisdom. So yeah, they really hold your hand on this. How do I find it? Go to the shrine. Go down there. Make sure you have a sturdy shield and sword. You've gone too far. And yeah, you can run all over the place, but it's not worth it at all. I'm just going straight to the dungeon. <laughs> what is <laughs> the fucking orc over there shadow boxing or golem? I guess. Uh, another giant rat that get that got like stuck on the terrain, and for some reason it like was making the hitting it sound, but wasn't actually hitting it. Oh, here's the column, the and I think poorly rendered column. I think this is the end. Yeah, this is the end. There's the entrance to the spies, the first dungeon. Which looks very elvish. Yeah. It's weird. Alright, see you guys later. later.